Uh, you can see there's a lot of metal frames. We have to put those back together, some assembly required. On the hatch, you can see these hatch clamps, the yellow ones, they, uh, they help keep the progress attached to the International Space Station. We're going to take a look outside. And this is the hatch that I opened up and went outside for a spacewalk. And we're looking aft on the space station. There's a ladder, some solar panels. We're looking at the service module, Zarya, or excuse me, uh, Zvezda. And looking at our also our beautiful planet Earth. Let's see if we get a nice little view here of Earth. A little small treat, because no tour of the space station would be complete without it. Yep, we're still over ocean right now, and uh, I imagine we'll be getting over land fairly soon. If I can, I'll try to show it to you. So that's the control panel for uh, the for the airlock. Couple hatches here, some ducting through the hatches. And last but not least, in the service module, it says that, which means star. It's the heart of the space station. It's uh, where we used to have uh, the only, only place where we could create oxygen and, and live with uh, the carbon dioxide removal system as well as a place to eat and sleep. There's my crewmate, Yuri Lonchikov, exercising on the treadmill with vibration isolation system, the Tevis. Yours, skazi privet. Hi. There's Yura. I like this one because it has a view out the window. And also you could uh, see the, uh, the sun wasn't glaring so much, you could actually see the uh, starboard side of the space station. And you can only see that there's one set of uh, huge American solar arrays. So carefully backing out, so not to bump into Yuri. See the very aft end of the space station. Now again, there's a lot of uh, things in there because we're getting ready to load up the progress. Here's our number one bathroom. Turn it on the lights. It looks the same as the other one with the same toilet. And the same uh, funnel hose. We have uh, different kinds of toilet paper here, wet wipes, dry wipes, a control panel right there, and that's our, that's our, those are our toilet facilities. I'm going to show you our eating facilities pretty quickly, and that, that'll wrap up the tour. This is the International Space Station. A very good example, a cluttered example at the moment, but a very good example of what uh, human beings can do when we work, when we work closely together. So, this is our eating area. There's our table, and we're just getting ready for lunch. There's our water dispenser right there, Russian style, and and our controller for the water dispenser. There's Yuri's room off to the side. You can see he has a sleeping bag right there hanging on the wall and a computer right here so he can call on the telephone, and write email and read books. So, and relax in the evenings a little bit because uh, we have long days up here. So, as we, uh, wanna, as we say goodbye, I, I do want to show a few more things real quick. Take a look out the windows and we can actually see the outside of the progress of cargo ship 
that we were just inside a few minutes ago. And let's see what else can we see. Oops, we can see land. It's a little bit hazy there. I believe that's uh, the edge of in India and uh, Burma or Myanmar. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. It's a little bit hazy there, especially this time of year. But you can see that we, you know, there's clouds out there. We're looking through the window here. And we're just the edge of, there we go. Let's just see the edge of the land at the coastline of uh, Burma. So we have all kinds of windows, all kinds of interesting things to see and do. And you can see our map. World, uh, it's not world map, that's Sigma that shows us where we are. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So again, excuse our mess. We're in the middle of uh, getting the space station ready for six people to come aboard. And uh, it's uh, a lot of building, a lot of, uh, a lot of things that are in transition, as you, as you know. Also, this is a surprise visit that you guys are paying on us today. So things aren't cleaned up, but they're real. This is exactly how we, we work and live in space. And I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if there are any questions, well, send them through Capcom and we'll see if we can answer them. So this is Mike Fink saying goodbye and thanks.